Got it. All right, guys, we're working out here at the river again. We're river rats now, but we're gonna catch some catfish. Me and Keaton here, we caught about 20 bluegill, perfect size for bait, and we're gonna try to catch some catfish for dinner or tomorrow. Soon I've been wanting, I've been craving fried fish for some reason, so what better to do, catch some big flatheads, maybe a blue or two, and uh, cook them up. So stay tuned, should be fun. Hope y'all like these catfishing videos, and these bow fishing videos, river fishing. Drop a comment below if you like it. Please subscribe and uh, let's catch some fish. We're gonna show you my little rig here. We've got a main line on most of our poles. I don't know what he's got. But we've got 50 pound braid, and we're gonna drop on a four ounce no roll. Actually on this one, we're gonna throw seven ounces. We're gonna throw a four and a three, because current's pretty swift, and I wanna throw this one out pretty far. Drop it down. You can put a bead on there if you want. I, I usually don't run beads. Barrel swivel, simple, simple. Tie whatever knot you feel comfortable using. I've got this one my dad showed me when I was a kid. And I always used it and it worked really good. So never had a problem with it, never had a break. Never had the knot break, had the line break. Cinch that sucker down. And then I've got some cheap Zebco 50 pound mono. And this stuff works great for leaders. Like it's cheap, it's like $2 for this whole spool. And you'll never use that whole thing. Cut you a piece off about a foot or foot and foot and a half. Same deal, tie it on your barrel swivel. Whatever knot you want to use, preferably a good knot onto the swivel and everything and then your weak or not on your hook just in case your weight snags you can just mm -hmm. break the hook off and keep your all your good stuff and then we're going to snail a eight aught circle hook on there this is a mouth circle hook you just reel and they just ow <laughs> got him like that <laughs> just like that this hook right here you can see it's got a little bit of offset we're gonna make that even more so you just take a good pair of pliers Get a good hold on it and just give it a good twist. Now look at that. Offset. The only problem with this, you'll snag trees, but you will catch every fish that bites that. Look at that. Offset is nasty. Just rolls in it. That one's rigged. We're gonna do that the rest of our poles and uh, get a big old fat bluegill on there. We're gonna run live and cut. Mix and match, see which one they like better. Let's catch some fish. So we got on the river right here. We've got the main river out front and then it banks really hard right here. And there's a big deep spot along this edge. There's a bunch of brush over here, so we know there's some flatheads lurking. And we're gonna cast, the current's going that way, so we cast out. Hopefully the scent goes down creek and the flatheads swim up out of that brush and find our bait. Mosquitoes the size of quarter out here. Tacking, about to fly off with me. Out for bait. Got some bluegill, they're all dead. <laughs> <laughs> that one's alive. Put that one on hold. I think they got alive. Oh well, we'll just cut them up. Get him? Yep. Still on? Yeah, he ain't big, but big, but. Take that clicker off. Okay. Little catfish, I bet. That thing hadn't been in the water two minutes. Nah. I told you. Good spot. Oh yeah, little flathead. That's what we're looking for right there. Call him up. There you go. That's a perfect eating size right there. On these catfish, you can lip them. They don't have a very strong jaw. What catfish can you not lip? <laughs> Blues. I've never not lipped a catfish, ever. Lip a blue. That sucker will pinch on your hand. Grab your fish. You got him? Look at that fish, guys. Pretty. Hey, cat, we ain't been here two minutes. We already caught some flatheads. That's what we're looking for. Let's keep catching some more. I'm gonna go get some paracord and make a stringer so we can keep them on fresh. Keep them on fresh. Not on ice. We got another fish messing with this pole. He's twitching it. Probably a little flathead, a little channel. Or something. Yeah. Might be a gar. Can I try him? Turn that sucker off. Definitely got something on there. Might have a turtle. Kind of biting like a turtle. No. Another flat. Turtle. No, oh, it is a turtle. <laughs> soft shell turtle. Yep. That's a soft shell. I said it was biting like a turtle. Get them off. Turtle catching cook, soft shell. 
Oh, he's eating the fish. <laughs> he can have the fish in a minute, boy. Free, bud. Later, Gator. He's stuck. Turtle down. Let's catch another. <laughs> this is fun. River fish is super easy. You just throw it out there and drink beer. <laughs> I'm telling you. That's a nice blue. Yeah. You want to clean the blues too? Hell yeah. Blue's good. We gonna, hey, put your finger in that one. <laughs> These suckers will pinch down on you. What going through now? That's a pretty nice one. Yeah. Nice little flathead. Whole last one for river fish. <laughs> <laughs> first fish on the lives down here. Heck yeah. Oh yeah, we got some other. Pretty good. Pour some in. Well, probably blue. Yeah. No, that's right here. That's right here? Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Good luck. Oh, y'all catch them. I live down here. I can't catch them. Oh, fucking broke off. You just lost him. Pretty good. He's right there. Right here. Get him, Keaton. <laughs> Grab him in the mouth. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that was fucking rough. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, a lot bigger than that other one. All right, we're gonna clean this little blue cat. I done cut the tail off, bleed him out. And uh, I just got a regular pocket knife. That's what we're gonna use. But there's already a line right there. God give us the cut on cut on. So we're gonna use, we're gonna take a pocket knife, stick it in right here below the head. We're gonna run down that line. Pop some guts. All the way up. like that and we're gonna take our knife and run it down the backbone and right here on this fin there's like a little they go around it like that stay on one side of the, the spine the best you can hug that spine all the way down use the fence here we go. Got it broke loose, holy at the bottom. Now we're just gonna flay it off. There you go. Perfect fillet, skin on. We'll just take a fillet knife and uh, hover right above that skin, fillet that skin off the meat. Just like that. Now we gotta do both sides. And these bigger catfish, this is probably about a eight, ten pounder. Good belly meat on them, so we're gonna get that belly meat. Get right underneath the jaw right there. Sucker's full of eggs. Mm-hmm. You gonna eat that one for caviar? No. Don't have much belly meat, but what is a little bit? All right, everybody. Well, it's the next day. We're here at the house. We're gonna cook up these catfish that we caught last night, and uh, we got a ton of meat, and we got a lot of people here to eat. So what we're gonna do? Batter these fish up. We're gonna throw them in the fryer and have some fried catfish. We're gonna do fried onion strips or onion rings, and we got some fries, homemade cut up fries. What we're gonna do? So it's gonna be good. So stay tuned. So catch and cook. Hope y'all enjoy it. We got bellies, we got cheeks, and we got fillets, fillets. This is bellies, this is fillets. Good stuff. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna season this cornmeal up a little killings, killings, I don't know how you pronounce it. Salt and pepper blend, it's good stuff. Just salt and pepper, but special salt and pepper, I know. Found it at Bucky's or H-E-B. It's good stuff. And we're also gonna throw in some Tony's, good old Creole seasoning. The best in the business right there. If you ain't got Tony's on it, you ain't got nothing. That's what we got a whole bunch of cornmeal. A little Lowry's. Mix a little Lowry's in there too. Good stuff. Hello! This is what we got. We got our fish batter. Simple, simple cornmeal. Killings. All that good stuff. And we're just gonna throw our fish in here, put the lid on, and shake that crap out of it. Do you wanna do. You wanna Get that fish it? all nice and battered up. This ain't even sticking at all. Right. Alright, fish is battered up. Don't put it in the grease. Oh, 
So these fries are about done. We're gonna put my secret blends, herbs, and spices on them. <laughs> okay, so all our fries and our onions are done finally, and uh, we're about to fry up this fish. Dropping it in at 375. Look at that sucker sizzling. Money. Try not to overcrowd the grease so she don't cool off too fast, and uh, we want to be right at perfect temp. We don't want to burn it. About 375. Yes, sir. We'll probably cook it until they start floating golden brown. I don't know what time, how long it takes, just golden brown money. Put a little kitchen. So it's been about mm, about a minute and a half, two minutes, and they look pretty good. But they're done. Nice, Pull them. Pull them. They're real thin. We cut this piece of catfish pretty thin. There's a couple thick ones in there, but we try to make them even so they cook evenly. Oh, look at that. Golden crispies. Cheek in the belly, best part of the whole fish. All right, everybody. One bite, everybody knows the rules. This is a, what is this, belly? Which one's no, belly? that's regular, this is belly. This is flathead belly right here. We're gonna have a little ketchup on the side. Thank you. All right, one bite, everybody knows the rules. Thank you. Belly meat, cheers. That's good. No ketchup. Woo! Hot! Nelson, we go through and get Now we get the lemon juice up there. Grab it. That's good. Yeah. Alright, now let's try the fillet. Nope, no ketchup. Fillet. Okay, thanks for cooking. Good too. See, I like the onions like that. Ketchup. Thank you, Liz. Need some Louisiana. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mine. That's mine, dude. Let me just they are damn good. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching this video. Hope y'all enjoyed this little catch and cook. We caught some catfish. We fried them up. Eat them. So good. Money. Damn good. Please hit that like button and uh, make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss an episode. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. We got more videos coming out. So, peace.